We're going to do a little zero DT stuff. Bat, we haven't traded any zero DTs in a while, but it's No, time. we haven't, because implied volatility has been low. And by the way, IV um, forward slash VX unchanged, uh, even with the NASDAQ selling off a little bit this morning. I know. Crazy, isn't it? Not helping the cause. Not helping the good kids as much as we would like it to. Um, again, I'm Tom. He's Tony. This is our zero DT piece. Um, one of our mathematicians, Jacob Perlman, is uh, on our research team, is the one who does most of our zero DT research. Zero DT options give retail traders access to some of the fastest, and most liquid options in the world. The extreme speed of zero DT trades is part of the appeal. It also makes it possible to rack up losses rapidly too. Mm -hmm. We get more emails about zero DT drawdowns than anything else. So let's see. Maximum drawdown measures the most in the red a portfolio has ever reached if you're trading zeros. Again, the maximum drawdown measures the most in the red a portfolio has ever reached. This is interesting because people are always worried about, and they should be worried about what you lose. And on zero days, it's like an expiration cycle, that 45-day time frame that we love all in one day in one little 8 to 12-hour period. Drawdowns are what test us. Yes, moves that we cannot quantify, moves that are outside two and a half, three, three and a half standard deviations. They are what test us. So let's investigate, okay, how much loss zero DT traders needed to be able to accept to keep trading. Again, let's investigate how much loss zero DT traders needed to be able to accept to keep trading. So we're going to look at the most in the red and how much loss. So we did a study. We looked at selling strangles, managing a 25% of max profit. We held the losers through the close and the winners we took off at 25%. We looked at the maximum drawdowns experienced by traders who began at any point in the study, examining the median value, the amount of starting capital that followed 50 that allowed 50% of the traders to keep trading zero TTs and the value at risk at 5%, the amount that allowed 95% of the traders to keep trading. We considered both the result for traders who managed by rolling to new positions and by those who closed a winner and took the rest of the day off. Get ready for this bet. I'm ready. It's going to be a tough one. So we're looking at zero DT drawdowns and we're looking at winners closed. Okay, this means you just you just take your take your money off the table. You close your winner, that's it. At $10 out of the money, $20 out of the money, and $30 out of the money. Now these are winners closed. Well, that's the mean and the median, right? Yeah, these are your max drawdowns, winners closed. Okay, so this is when you close your winners. And the conditional value at risk, right? Well, the, the value at risk is what happened. That's that's the 95, that's the 95% number. The other ones are essentially the 50% number. Okay, the average and the 50% number. And the other one's the 95% number. Like, we can't tell how much money you have. We can just tell you that if you close your winners and you took the worst case, you're talking about, well, let's say we do $20 out of the money where we do right now. Your worst case is 8,700. That's in 5% of the time. And your other, your mean and your median are, are somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000. That's winners closed. Winners rolled. Now, this is interesting because this gets, this means you're, you're keeping dream alive, okay? So you have the $20 out of the money, which is the same one. All of a sudden, those numbers just about double. The value at risk doubles as well. So now you're in a situation. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Now you're in a situation when you're rolling the winners, you're really bumping up the amount of money that you could potentially, you know, lose on these trades. Sure. So the winners rolled was definitely a lot more a lot more troubling. So now let's go go to the next slide. So before trading in a new marketplace, looking at historical data can help us prepare for possible misfortune. Traders who rolled winners were exposed to significantly more downside risk than those who closed them, especially when trading closer to the money. When you're trading closer to the money, that $10 out of the money, you were on the dance floor of danger all the time. Which makes sense. Yeah, that's that that's that's not taking your profits. Mm -hmm. And just to put this in context, just looking at the $10 out of the money, the ten dollars out of the money, the 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 average loss is ten dollars out of the money if you close your winners were two thousand, three thousand, and eighty seven hundred and five percent of cases. That's totally manageable. If you go to the next slide, that three thousand goes seventeen thousand. That three thousand goes eighteen thousand, and that seven thousand goes to thirty thousand. It makes no sense to roll winners. The twenty dollars out of the money was more manageable, but still, it makes no sense. So traders who rolled winners were exposed to significantly more downside risk than those who closed them. And remember, these were we, we looked at max losses here. So especially when trading close to the money, we know from previous studies that selling zero TT premium every day 
was net profitable last year. But if you're looking to get in the action, be sure to get in the practice with thought through mechanics and enough capital to absorb a potentially unlucky start. Also, manage your damn trades. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's the part that needs to be put in there more than yeah. anything else. Yep. Manage your winners. Agreed. Agreed. Yep.